Wally. Wally, poor Wally, had a bit of an accident. This is Nick and Sue's horse. And so they uh, informed me yesterday that she's, uh, she's got quite the, the gash. So what we're doing today, this will be the second day. We will be repacking the wound that's a puncture wound, pretty deep. It goes probably the whole length of my finger in. So we've been packing it yesterday. So today we're gonna video how we pack it. day three of the injury and we'll keep you updated as the injury heals and how it's looking okay this is uh this is what we got going on we got this here all packed with um non-adhesive packing so we're going to be removing the packing reflushing the injury so then once we reflush it, we're going to show you what we're going to put in it. And it's healing up, actually, I think, quite well. This to get it off. I know, baby, it's going to be cold. Okay, we got to get this gauze off, which is stuck. So we got to wet it pretty good. Yeah, I know, baby. Oh, girl. I'm actually going to stand here. Yeah, see, we're going to end up ripping the skin a little bit, getting the gauze off. Oh, girl. I know, baby. <coughs> we're going to use this syringe up just in this. Oh. We're almost done, then. Almost done. There we go. We're good. Okay. So this is what we got going on today. It's actually not bad. It's healing pretty good. This here's gone down in swelling. But, I mean, technically, if she was uh, under anesthetic or something, I would probably trim that flesh off. But, oh girl. Now we gotta wet the inside of the wound in order to get this stuff all out of here. There we go. Okay. So what we have here that I'm flushing the wound with is saline solution and silver, cordial silver. Okay. Okay. So we've packed in probably two inches worth of packing into the wound to heal it from the inside out. It's not releasing. You have to go a little at the top. Oh God. She's a little more sensitive today. She was on pain medication yesterday. So this is how much packing is in there. We still have a little more which I may need those forceps. I don't know if you can zoom in, but this is how big that hole is in there. We gotta heal that from the inside out. That's gross. Yeah, that, that wound <coughs> is pretty opening gross. up more, and I don't know. It might take a long time to get that closed oh, up. You still film? Mm-hmm. I mean, it, it's it's quite a wound. It's gonna take some time to get that packed back, closed. But that's quite the that's quite oh, the goodness. wound. Oh, stitching it won't heal on the inside then, mm -hmm. right? If you stitch, <coughs> if you were to stitch this closed, it wouldn't heal properly on the inside. If you want it to heal properly, 
in my opinion, I am not a physician or a veterinarian or anything of that sort. I'm just saying in my personal opinion, if you just sealed this closed, it wouldn't heal on the inside properly. Now eventually it may, but we want to get this packed tighter because it's opening up more. There we go. So we're going to need all that packing, but I'm going to flush it. Oh, geez, it wouldn't go in like that yesterday. That's, um, mean. Hmm? Yeah. That's, uh, let me see. Oh, baby. Well, it is healing on the inside. It is healing, but it's opening on the outside. It looks worse on the outside here, but on the inside it is <coughs> healing. It's healed maybe a quarter of an inch overnight. So it is healing, but it's whether or not we can get these two muscles that have been split to heal back together, which is going to take some time. I should get you a second <laughs> That's right. Okay. Well, we're, we're gonna. Yeah, I will um, give her a little more of a flush here. Clean her up. This here, this here, I could stick my finger around the outside. It's healing in here. The skin is healed back to the muscle <coughs> tissue. So that's a good thing. It's just this here that I'm hoping will heal really well in there. There we go, girl. So, I think it's healing in my personal opinion very well. It's not infected, it doesn't, has no odor whatsoever. So to me, that indicates it's healing very well. So we're just gonna repack this hole really well with the, uh, what we're using is um, coconut oil and honey mixed together and heated lukewarm so that it uh, binds together. So when we pack this, we'll pack it with coconut oil and Okay, we're gonna have to pack it. Now. What do we got going on here, ladies? So um, we have the coconut and honey mixture warmed up, mixed together. I'm going to put this gauze packing and saturate it with it. And we're going to. I wonder if we should empty one of those pails and put hot water in it. Huh? We're going to uh, what for? To keep that honey warm. No, it's okay. Once I get this on, it won't be. It's just a matter of getting it on here. But we're going to pack this into the hole. So it's honey and coconut oil. Yes. Honey and coconut oil. That's all I use. And we did that with with uh, our mare when she cut herself open really bad like this. Do we have pictures of that? We do. I'm going to show you those pictures. And might I add, Misty doesn't have a single scar or know even where she hurt herself. Okay, so here we go. So you want to pack it in really tight. And I'm not saying this is for everyone, and I'm not saying that maybe I'm right, but I've done it before and it worked well and we didn't have a single scar when we were done. And you wouldn't even know that Misty had a sore. So 
and I packed a hole. It wasn't as elongated, but Misty had a hole that went in the size of my finger as well. And it healed very well. So this is not for the faint at heart possibly to do this. Or somebody with a weak stomach. <laughs> And that's what fainted heart means, honey. Oh, okay. I, mean, I thought you meant passing in. Oh, well, you eat breaks, huh? Yeah. Don't eat breakfast before this is done. <laughs> okay. That's... <coughs> so then what you want to do with all this other flush, you want it to have this antibacterial paste put on. And we're going to paste this in here. You have to paste it nice and thick on this side. Nice and thick, and it kills any bacteria naturally, because that's what honey's good for. It's going to drip out, honey. We're keeping the honeybee's job as a necessity. Okay, so once you got that packed well, I put on there, a little bit more and you pulled some of it away from that. I'm, it's falling down, Jay. It'll still be there. It's just, it's not as goopy. Yeah, you go. Put it right up in here. It's almost too warm. Right there. Don't touch that nope. section again. No, nope. it's just, it will do that. It will drip. Okay, I'm going to go grab the pad. Get the, okay, stop. So what'd you do there? I'm recording. Oh, are you? Okay, so I put some more of the mixture on the pad. It's just a long, extra long period pad. And we're just going to put this right here. We're going to duct tape it. Just put a piece at the end there. We duct taped, we, we cleaned it out and duct taped it last night and it was still on this morning. So it's, it's staying on except for down in here where the drain, it's draining still. So with the draining going down her leg, it's not sticking. No, 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 no. You want to go over on the side here. You missed. Yeah, well, you can put more. Have, that's fine. I will okay. go put layers on it. That's because good. I want to make sure that it stays on the pad. Too. Yeah. Yeah. And see, I'm, I'm too sticky, so I really shouldn't touch it. Okay. Actually, Just you know what? I don't need yeah. the gloves anymore. did really well. Yeah, that won't stick there. Yeah, I will. Well, if you put another piece, like right here, yeah. you might. I will, like, yeah, I will do that. I just want to... The only thing is, is when she pees, it'll just... You gotta, put, you gotta put something underneath that before you take that. Yeah, I know. Hang on. A, hang on. I gotta go Don't. grab another gauze. So we're going to take this gauze and try and keep this covered so that uh, kind of keep some of the dirt out of there. It will stick. You will have to wet it down very well in order for it to come off. I just give another little short piece above his tail. Oh yeah, I'm not done yet. Green. <laughs> now get a short piece and see if you can stick it right here. Yeah, she's dry right here, so. But she won't be if she pees, but. I mean, as long as it, you still want a little bit of air and drainage. Over, over, so. over more. Over this way more. Right, there. right about there. There we go. Right, right. I want to just put salt down. I wouldn't put any on the gauze. No? No. You want a little bit of airflow in there? Yeah, you it's want just, air to get it's in It's just it. kind of to stop any dust and dirt sort of thing. As long as it sticks up there, it should be fine. Well, maybe <coughs> we can do that. Yeah. Let me... 
So we got this uh, tail. Well, I put vet wrap over it first because the tail wrap was a little harsh on the side of her cut. So what so we're going to do is move it up. We're going to take it off and redo the tail wrap. I'll need some vet wrap if you have some over there. You're such a good girl, Wally. Not much, but I have some. Yeah, we just need to maybe wrap it where the cut is. See, you can see that it's it's protecting her cut from the tail wrap because it's pretty. The tail wrap is pretty harsh. Maybe yeah, you want to slide that the yeah, whole thing I up, will. or once I take it off, I will take it off and redo it. brand new you can tell it's got good sticky there we go oh there she comes oh. well uh, she is hungry and she's eating and she's pooping so that's a good thing too she pooped Let's see if you can push that in a little bit. It will go down when you put the tail down. Okay, is that right? So this, because of the, this here is so harsh, I'm gonna wrap it really good right where the sewer is. Mm -hmm. Come on. Vet wrap is very sticky. Good stuff. Always have some vet wrap on hand for anything. <coughs> if you more. could, uh, if you could somehow put a little bit down here and stop it from sliding down. That don't matter. It will still. Up there. I just want to protect. Okay, that's it. That's all we need. There. That just protects all yeah. in here. Exactly. All Good job. Need. Awesome. So we'll let you know tomorrow the difference in seeing how it's healing. See if the uh, cut on the inside is coming forward to the outside. And she's draining, so that's a good sign. She's draining pretty good still, so. And there's absolutely no infection that I can smell. There's no odor whatsoever, so that's <coughs> it's always... Like once she's healed up, a lot of that stuff there will rinse right off. Well, she won't drain anymore once it's yeah. It's healing from the inside, so it's draining from the inside out. So once the but draining I mean, stops... The then, hair being all crusty, it'll eventually, you can wash that off eventually. Yeah, well, she was, yesterday when I came to see her and helped her out, this was all coated, it was all blood, all of it, her whole leg. So we scrubbed her up and got her cleaned up, but it's still draining nicely. So it's no longer really blood. It's just the fluids draining and cleaning up. So and it's a little cold today, so we can't really clean up her leg a little bit better, but. I mean, there's really no point today. Once we get some of that healing to the outside, then we can wash her up and then we won't have to worry about the inside. Mm -hmm. The, the pad off today, this will be day three of packing. See how she looks. Oh girl. So. Yeah. So. Oh, some of the packing's coming up. So that means it must be pushing it out, I'm guessing. Okay. Is it not that stuff? Oh yeah, this came out. Yeah. Yeah. It's looking good, I think. Like, look at it, it's all starting to heal closed. Yeah. Starting to re redo some more skin tissue. So now I have to make this really wet, yes? Yeah, you gotta make it really wet so we can slowly peel it off. Let's keep it here. 
I think this it's, is slid it, down it's again. looking good. It's getting here. Hold this. I'm gonna slide this up. See. No, we'll just take it off and redo it. Don't worry about that. I think we'll just wrap her tail with vet wrap now. Yeah. Yeah. So you come over here. I'll hold your tail. Just try to get it right where it joins to the skin. Mm -hmm. That's okay, baby. That, that's not good here. Feel a lot of pressure. No, yeah, because that is quiet here. Should I call it just the dissolved solution for the bit? Yeah, either or. Yeah. Okay. 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 It's getting wet. You just gotta keep. Yeah, you keep pulling. pulling. Yeah. Yeah, I know, Wally. Where it's dry is on her hair. It's not on the cut. Oh, it's bleeding a little. Yeah, it will. Okay. I know. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay, you want to get it wet over, pull it this way a little bit? Yeah. Get it wet in there. It's okay. Oh. Okay. And just soak it right there. Okay. Oh, it's coming. There we go. It's healing pretty good too, eh? So do I have to make it wet in here too? Yeah, we're going to have to put some in the syringe to make it good and wet inside so we can pull it out. Yeah, it's, it looks like it's healing up pretty good. Especially up here, it's healing pretty good. Yeah. <clears throat> it's, it's producing another layer of skin type tissue. To kind of stick it right in the top as much as you can. And just squeeze it down to 15. The last thing you want to do is just break that inside. Oh, well, we got four. Yep. Now you'll have to try and shove it right in on the sides or something. Try and get right into the sides. As long as it's not caught, just okay. keep pulling. It's just saline solution again. Yeah, yeah. It's that stuff's the most important. Pure cordial silver. Okay. Is it stuck in there? Yeah, a little tug. There you go. Oh. Good. Oh, it's really separated even more today. But. I'm gonna put a glove on and see how much inside it is. It's, it's coming downwards, so it is feeling inside. Okay. So what are you doing? So I'm gonna stick my finger in, see how much the hole is now. Okay. The hole's smaller got one spot that's deeper but all down in here is healing and all up in here is healing shut so it's just in the middle right here the center where yeah. we gotta pack the most in here and then just a little on each side she is healing really well eventually it'll keep working its way back out oh
You don't want to rip it back open again. I don't really push it. It just slides in on its own. I yep, do. just lightly make sure it's all packed full in there. Oh, we could have probably nope. went a little bit shorter, maybe. <clears throat> so you, you see how much you cut, and tomorrow cut even less. Yeah, good. Now we just have to pack the the flesh here. That's you not. Is that a shavings? Huh? I'm just. I don't know if that's a shavings or if that's the skin. That's. Uh, I think that's the skin that's coming in. Is it? That's shaving. Is it a shaving? Mm -hmm. Yeah. We're gonna have to take those tweezer things and see if we can pop them out. Pop right, that off. Pop them out, yeah. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, you don't want that in there. You think okay? Yep. This is not as wide as your stuff is. Yours is wider. Yeah. Huh. You might have to go with the wider ones though. Huh? No, it it'll still work, but that's fine. Just see if you can put a piece of tape on there and hold yeah, that. Just, uh, that's just going too much away. <laughs> I'll just give it a little touch. There, just to, it's not all the way up though. No, that's okay. That's <clears> good. <throat> you gotta. You gotta you got a towel there or something, or a paper towel or something? It won't matter now. Now Just that it's that. it won't matter now. Once it's wet, it won't stay. It's oh, see, it's itchy. It's itchy. Yeah. I know, yeah. I know. That's a good thing. That Where's means it's the end of this? right here. We'll take we'll take all that off. We'll just put the the vet wrap on because it's not staying up on our tail anyway because it's so heavy. Yeah. Oh yeah, she's liking that. Yeah. That's a good sign. That. She's she's healing good. Yeah. No, that you want new stuff. Oh, you'd want it right now. Yeah, give it. Try to get right up here. Yeah. Try and get all that hair. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, keep that hair. Because the hair could get stuck in it, and then you're. Good. That's good. Mm -hmm. She's healing up really well. I bet you it'll be closed in about a week. I hope so. Put one short piece right here. That'll hold this down. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah, that's itchy, itchy, itchy. I know. Ah, gee, I know. Yeah, it's good. Day four of packing is it day four yeah day four remember, Anna. Anna. <laughs> day four of packing um sue's gonna do everything herself today as they are leaving today to go back home so she wants to make sure she can do everything on her own it's looking good the skin is starting to uh close up yeah that's good I know it doesn't look good. I know people people are probably looking this on camera going, are you this kidding me? Good. This doesn't look good. Oh, Wally. 
No, it's okay. I'm just, there's certain spots that are still really stuck, like in here. I have to make a picture too. <laughs> but yeah, it's looking good. The swelling here has gone down. The it's all, the skin is all thickening to grow over it again. It almost looks like cooked meat. <laughs> it's gross. <laughs> well, it does. It looks like it's cooking. You like a medium rare, the butt cheek. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> It won't stick anymore once we use the um, the other stuff. Okay. See, baby. Okay. Flip it over and soak it a little bit on the outside. It's just those two spots. You can see where it's kind of. You might have to pull it. Unfortunately. Oh, girl. Shut wet, Wally. Oh, 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 oh. Come on. Oh, that's really hard. Yeah, might have to pull it off. But it'll be the last time that we have to do that. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> that way too. Do you notice how this isn't healing as well as that? Because yeah. it's not getting enough air, maybe. No, no. Well, if you guys are going to trailer it, I would cover it back up. Yeah, but maybe tomorrow when you pack her, <coughs> don't even put gauze there. Yeah. Is it sticking? Ah, <laughs> So we'll see how much. No, it is healing. It's heal. I can feel that it's coming together on the side. Yes, the hole is still there, but it's not as as big as my finger is yet the last time. So, no, it is healing. Yes, you can pull your finger, you can put your finger in further. Oh. That's actually not bad. It's, I, I mean, Misty was worse. <laughs> Sounds like she's going to take a drink of that. <laughs> I mean, Misty was worse. Remember, <clears throat> she went like a greenish yellow. Oh, it was nasty, that shit. And it, it smelled really bad. No, she is healing. It's just, it's going to take time. So still packing? I'm thinking so, yeah. See, right here, she might have a bit of infection right down. Because where it's, see the fluid that's mm -hmm. coming out? Should we cut that? No, it's not this. I'm not worried about this. What this is, is this will keep scabbing. This is what's scabbing over to make skin. <clears throat> we can cut that off. We can cut this off. But I would keep the harder stuff, the stuff up here I would keep because that's her skin that's regrowing, right? But yeah, she's still a little raw. See mm -hmm. in here. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I would say she, she's she's healing up. She's got, yeah, she's got. Let's gonna, flush it out. A yeah, I was going to say we should flush it out a little more. Mm. 
So if we just shove in the packing and leave it stop about here and leave this pieces open and, okay. and shove a lot of um, the mixture in there. I was trying to do, put a little bit of pressure on it so it really flashes to the back. You can feel it's crystallizing. <coughs> it's crystallizing like this on the inside. So it is it is healing if you if you feel the walls, the side walls. Yeah. They feel bumpy, right? Yeah. So it's kind of like this. Up here it's, it doesn't, yeah. But down here is is red and raw. Okay. So I think we if we pack it in and leave this here piece open like this. <clears throat> Huh? <clears throat> Make sure that I don't really touch your hair. Huh? Yeah, you don't want to touch your hair too much because then you, it could get inside, right? See that skin that you keep cutting off? If it was to dry out a little bit, but it's not able to because it's always wet, then it would crystallize and form the harder skin, yeah. right? So try and, the first bit, try and get right as deep as you can into that hole that you feel, the, yeah. the biggest hole. And then just, yeah, then just weave back and forth, up and down for the rest. Oh, that's good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, just maybe put it in a little bit further so she can get some air a little bit on the outside here. Ah. Because you can always take the forceps and pull it out, right? So, yeah, good. Okay. That's, yep. Goop, we got a big goop over here. I don't know, that's not a smart idea. Okay. I would just <coughs> put a little bit on the other side and then... Yeah, get some over here. The other side you want to um, let air to. So tomorrow, I wouldn't put a gauze on that side at all tomorrow. But today we will do that. Yeah, for... because you're going to be transporting. So now I can take <coughs> my... Yeah, I know. Okay. 